Now that you know how to find the GCD in the LCM, let's look at some application problems. First, we want to look at when do we need to use the GCD versus the LCM. When we want to break up our numbers into equal pieces, for each number in the set, we will use the GCD. When we are looking at when numbers will occur at the same time, we are looking for the LCM. Some general hints for starting the problems. The GCD is often used when you have different size sets that you want to make equal. If you think your answer will be smaller than your starting numbers, then definitely use the GCD for the problem. The LCM, being a bigger number, often deals with time. It will often be phrased as, when will both events occur together? This should be your signal to use the LCM. So let's look at a few problems. Let's start with this one. A bakery made 42 chocolate cupcakes and 70 vanilla cupcakes. They wanted to display the two fla flavors separately in rows of equal numbers. How many cupcakes should be in each row? So the first thing we need to decide is, is this a GCD problem or is this an LCM problem? Well, since we're trying to break down our 42 and our 70 into smaller numbers, we should know to use the GCD. So we need to set up our problem of 42 and 70, and we see that 7 divides into both 42 and 70. That will result in 6 and 10 when we divide. We can divide 6 and 10 by 2, which will result in 3 and 5. Now that we're down to 3 and 5, they have nothing in common, so we stop. Remember, the GCD is just the numbers on the left. So my GCD will be 7 times 2, which is 14. So I should put 14 cupcakes in each row so that they'll be equally displayed when I put them in the case. Let's try another problem. Tyler can walk a lap of the track in 20 minutes. It takes Steven 12 minutes to run the lap. If they start the lap at the same time, how many minutes will elapse before they are both at the starting point at the same time again? All right. So once again, our problem should always start by trying to figure out, are we using the GCD or the LCM? Because we're looking for when in the future are they going to be at the same point again, we know time tells me we're looking for the LCM. So that, the LCM should be easier to recognize because it most generally for us will deal with time. So here I have 12 and 20, and I go to do the LCM. I decided to start by dividing by 2, which gave me 6 and 10. Well, I divide by 2 again, I get 3 and 5. This time, because I'm finding the LCM, I want to multiply all of the numbers on the outside of my division. So I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, which gives me 60. So this says, <clears throat> Tyler and Stephen will arrive at the same place again after 60 minutes. All right, so try this one. Especially try to figure out how would you start this. So it says Carlos has a sports car that requires him to have his tires rotated every 12,000 miles and his oil changed every 3,500 miles. How many miles will he drive before he has to have both items done at the same time? All right, so give yourself some time. Try to figure this one out and come back and check the answers. All right. So again, we're finding something in the future, like time is going to elapse, miles are going to elapse, so we know we want to look at the LCM. So I take my two numbers, my 12,000 and my 3,500, and I'm going to divide by 100 to start. Remember, because I'm using repeated division, I'm not using primes, I can use any number that divides into both. So now I have my numbers down to 120 and 35, so I decide to divide by 5, which gives me 24 and 7. Um, 24 and 7 are relatively prime, they have nothing in common, so now I'm done with my repeated division, and I just need to multiply 100 times 5 times 24 times 7, which says in 84,000 miles, or every 84,000 miles, he'll have to have both things done at the same time. All right, one more you try. Katie made lasagna in an 18 by 10 inch pan. Jenny made lasagna in a 15 by 10 inch pan. They are trying to make equal sized portions of the dishes to serve at a luncheon. They decide to make the pieces 2.5 inches wide since both pans are 10 inches across. How long should they make the slices if they want to make the largest same size pieces they can? All right, again, give yourself some time, think about this problem, think about what your approach should be, and then work it out. All right, this time we're finding the GCD because we're cutting, we're making things smaller. So smaller means GCD, bigger means LCM. 
And the only thing we really have to concentrate on here is the 18 and the 15. The 10s are the same, and we already decided how the, the 10 will be dealt with. It'll be cut into 2.5 inch slices. So I'm looking at what am I going to do with the 18 and the 15. So the 18 and the 15 are both divisible by 3, which you can see over on the right. I divided by 3, and it gave me 6 and 5. Um, there's nothing else to do. 6 and 5 are relatively prime. I only have this one number, 3, right here that was my divisor, so 3 is the size that I should cut them at so that they're all equal.